little viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist and welcome back to Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. This is part 16 now, so, you'll remember in the last episode, a few things happened. First and foremost, Hajime went and took a look at the Twilight Syndrome murder case video game. So that was interesting to look at, and I'm telling you now, my bet is that the events in that game are going to prove that, you know, it's going to prove that those events... Jesus, I can't English all of a sudden. Let me try and uh, phrase this properly, shall I? Let's, you know, what's your bet that basically the events in that game will turn out to be true? That is, within, obviously, the canon of the Danganronpa franchise. It'll turn out to be something that's real, quote-unquote, and that some of these characters are probably involved in some way. So, um, yeah, that's my bet right now. What we're seeing in that video game is going to turn out to be much more real than we realise. Secondly, of course, Kazuichi. He's uh, invited us uh, out, apparently, somewhere. I've forgotten where it was. He was. He said meet at 2.30 at here, didn't he? At the Rocket Punch Market. That's it, yeah. It took me a moment to remember that, because it's um, been a week or two since my last recording. So, without further ado, we're going to throw ourselves back in. <laughs> Says Hajime. Ah, it's well past the arranged time, and there's no sign of Kazuichi. This swab. All of a sudden, the anxiety I've been keeping inside me began to swell up like a balloon until... Yo! No, he's here now. Ugh. Whoa! Hey! Can I make so? What the heck? Don't get all pissed off just because I was a little late. Arr, late? Oh, I get it. I totally forgot he's that kind of guy. Arr, a guy who doesn't mind showing up late even though he's the one who asked me to come. That kind of guy. Well, it sort of makes sense. Arr, so what do you want? Why'd you call me out here like this, Arr? Hey! Can I mates? Well, you know, can you do me a little favour? Or a little favour? <sighs> can I mates? I just overheard something. Apparently it's Miss Sonia's idea. For a change of pace, it looks like the girls are secretly planning to go splash around at the beach. Oh, I see. Or it doesn't seem so secret now. Wait, don't tell me you. <sighs> oh God. Back off, bud. bud. She's my waifu. I've already got her panties. Hmm? Those regal undergarments. I've got them. Good I mates, as expected, Miss Sonia splashing around the sea is a nice idea. <laughs> I admire her so much, it's shocking. My heart trembles around her so much, she's about to burn out. <laughs> so let's crash it together. Oh, why me? Hey, hey! Good I mates, well, it's weird to fake a coincidence all by yourself, isn't it? So how about a scenario where you and I go, go to the beach and when we run into the girls by coincidence? Huh? Hey, you better not say no. I can't ask any of the other guys to help me with this. Man. Good I mate, Snickamaro can't keep his mouth shut to save his life, and Gundam is, well, Gundam. Fuyiko and Nagito are out of the question. I understand where you're coming from, but I don't feel like going to the beach, Arr. Hey! Good I mate, I took the time to prepare your swimsuit, you know. Did you? And uh, now you're just going to walk all over my kind act? Arr, you're snapping at me. <laughs> Good night, mates. If you say no, I'm going to bug you about it till you die. Ah, uh, there's no way he's joking about that. This is Kazuichi, after all. Ah, uh, if I have no choice, then fine. <coughs> Good night, mates. That's my Ajime. That's how a soul brother should act. Ah, uh, so what do I have to do? Well... Good night, mates. Well, based on what I overheard, it looks like they're, gonna, they're going to Chandler Beach on the second island. All oh, right! That's why we got to head over to that diner first. Our plan is to be at the beach before they get there. And we're going to act like it's just a coincidence. Arr, got it. So I need to go to the diner. Arr. Engine's ready! Hmm. G'day, mates. I'm getting all excited now. Arr, well, that makes one of us, I suppose. Looks like you can't take a hint. Okay. I mean, I guess we're heading for Chandler... No, the diner, even, on the second island. Do you have anything else you want to say, or...? For now. Yeah, okay. Right, so... <laughs> right, so, yeah, he wants us to go to the friggin', uh... To the friggin' diner on the second island. I'm just looking around in case there's any hidden monokumars. Shut up there. No. Actually, yeah, I should check out this vending machine whilst I'm here. Would I like to purchase something? Yes. Let's try purchasing something. Ooh, you see, because I've got 100 coins. And this actually enables you to actually buy specific objects. So. Ooh. I say. Man's nut. I wonder what that is. An Anon. Bajobo dolls. Okay, there's only a fairly limited selection here, I must say. Hmm. Okay, never mind. We're not going to buy anything from that. Should probably get going. Yes, let's do that. 
to the second island, everybody. We're going to crash the girls' beach party. Because why the hell not? Is this where we're going to get the, uh, you know, the obligatory animu swimsuit moment? <laughs> oh, he just wants, you know, Kazuichi just wants to go there to ogle at Sonya. To perv on the princess. But little does he know, I've already perved on the princess, bud. I've got her regal undergarments. Oh, there you are. Jesus. You suddenly showed up, did you? Um, yeah, we need to go to Central Island, don't we? Gundam, what are you up to? Oh, I wish I'd talked to you now. Well, never mind. Um, it's to the right, isn't it? I can never remember with this island which direction I need to go in order to find stuff. I should probably actually check my pet now that I think about it. Yep, it's left some fecal matter just about everywhere. Jesus. Friggin' messy animal. Bloody hell. What a bitch. Okay, is this the second island over here? I think it is, isn't it? Run, Hajime. Run like the wind. That's not the second island. That's the fifth island. I went completely the wrong direction. Because I'm a freaking idiot. See? i got to remember, left-hand rule, isn't it? With the bridges on here on Central Island. Come from the first one, go to the left, second one, right? Unless they're just in a completely weird order, which I doubt they would be. Because that wouldn't be logical at all, would it? So let's go this way instead. Hello! Second island. To the diner. Make ourselves some hamburgers. Oh, you're here again. Guess you're coming with me. Or at least it's trying to simulate that you're coming with me. Let's uh, go this way this time. It's probably quicker. Yes, that's right. See, diner. There we go. In we go. Diner parking. Oh yeah, it's called Pork Burger, isn't it, this thing? <laughs> that seagull there, and that one there. There's another one up there, Jesus. Into the diner, we go. Ah, music change. This might be the same track, actually. Yeah, right, here we are. What's up, bud? <laughs> G'day, mate's alright, we're here. Now we just have to stake out a spot and wait until the ladies arrive. Oh, is he sure about this plan? I mean, isn't this a little too stalkerish? Well, maybe, yes. Definitely no Monokumars are there around here. I mean, I don't recall there being any in this room, but check anyway. That doesn't look like it. Kick us, Ricci. Alright, when are they going to come? Do you happen to overhear that with your sensitive ears, too? Hmm. Can I, mate, say so mention something about coming a little after the sun starts to tilt, so maybe around 4 pm? <laughs> really? We have to. Wow, you got here early, didn't you? Ah, oh, it's 3 p.m. right now, so we still have to wait one more hour. <laughs> Good night, mates. Always make you move early. That's just the basics, you know. All right, I don't know if you should be talking like an expert right now, you swab. Hey. Good night, mates. It's fine, it's fine. Just make sure you keep watch by the window, you wallaby. It'd be bad if you didn't catch Miss Sonia on her way to the beach, you know. It's our job to keep that from happening. To get to the beach, they've got to pass in front of the diner. Engines revving. Good night, mates. You better keep your eyes peeled. This isn't a game. Ah, oh, if this isn't a game, then what the hell is it? That was going a bit pyro Australian then. Ah, oh, I should really have just said no. Are we going to get some swimsuit fan service this episode? Ah, oh, I was sitting at a table by the window. I rested my chin in my hands and absentmindedly stared out the window. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. It's in green for some reason. G'day, mate. So they come in. Did they arrive? Ah, oh, it hasn't even been ten minutes yet. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, 20 minutes passed, and then 30 minutes. As time passed by, the only things that grew were the volume of my size and the weight of my regret. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Can I make say, what kind of swimsuit do you think Miss Sonia will wear? Since she's a foreigner, do you have about a bikini? Well, mate, <laughs> yes. Hopefully. Good night, mates. Don't you feel like there's a pure, innocent, mythical fantasy hiding somewhere, hiding between the top and bottom of a bikini? What the hell are you on about? I mean, actually, no. <laughs> Let's uh, indulge in full male fantasy here. Ah, uh, even if I wanted to agree with you, I don't know how to answer that. Wait, huh? Ah, uh, and that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, a certain someone walked by the front of the diner. Huh? Good night, mates. Isn't that? Ah, uh, I wonder what happened. I guess I should head over. Can I... Oh, wrong voice. <laughs> oh, we left the diner and hurry and ran to where that person was standing. Hmm. What? Who? Oh. It's what? this guy. Hey, Louie, you bastards. Oh, I knew it was you, Fihiko. What are you doing here? Shut the hell up! 
Hey, Louis, that's my line. Hey, hey! Good night, mates, what the heck? You're awfully tense. Actually, why do you seem so flustered? You... Hey, Louie, who are you calling flustered? Don't go making false accusations, you bastard. Huh? Good night, mates, don't tell me all. Oh, man, is that it? You overheard my plan, didn't you? Huh? Hey, Louie, plan? Huh? Good night, mates, it's no use playing dumb. You overheard my plan, follows all the way here, right? Hello! <laughs> hey, what are you doing at this place? Oh, my, my! That's a strange combo. Uh, hello. Oh, blimey. Uh, it's, today's another wonderful day. Well... You're done for! Wow, that was a strange outburst. <laughs> You're not going to get away from, from it now that I've caught you. I got, got so nervous I ended up blurting out something weird. Uh, but please don't hate me, blimey. I'll, I'll take the punishment as much as you like. Wow. G'day, mates. Uh, you two, this is such a coincidence. I never expected to coincidentally run into you guys here. Don't lay it on too thick, bud. Ah, oh, he really does suck at this. Well... G'day, mates, man. Actually, Hajime and I were about to head to the beach together. Hmm... <laughs> were we? <laughs> yes, well, I suppose we were. We're just gonna ogle at the girls first, won't we? Sip a tea whilst I'm at it. Hmm. Lovely. There we are. Oh, my! Can I make so? Could that be what you ladies are here for? That's such a coincidence. It even seems like destiny. Aww. Yes. <laughs> Something's obviously suspicious. Your eyes are moving around like salmon before they lay eggs. Well... You've seen that, have you? <laughs> Jeez. Can I make no way? I'm always like this. Uh, how should I put it? I always pay attention to my surroundings. Alright, uh, I can't keep watching this. Okay. Uh, as I sighed and looked away from that embarrassing sight, I realised that he had disappeared. Fuyahiko's gone. Huh? Where did Fuyahiko go? Well... Regardless, you two have arrived pretty early. It's only 3.30pm. You still have about 30 minutes until you meet the others. Dude! Just give away. Just give it away, why don't you? Um... Bl blimey, why do you know we're going to meet with the others? Why you? <laughs> Kazuichi, you are an idiot. <laughs> and you even know our damn meeting time? Hmm... Can I, well, you see... For now. Anyway, let's cherish the coincidence that brought us together. So is it okay if we join in two? Oh, wow, you got forceful all of a sudden. Aww. So that's your ulterior motive. You're probably here for Sonya, aren't you? Well... Oh, blimey, I, I really have no desire to do something so rude, like decline the offer at all. But Sonya was the one who planned to go to the beach, so we need to ask her. Of course. Wow. <laughs> You're going to presume the answer, are you? G'day, mates, then it's all good. It's too devastating to think Miss Sonia would decline, so I just won't think it. Fuck off, bud. I've got her undergarments. She's my waifu. You can back the hell off, bro. How'd you make punch this guy in the face? Oh, is he being an optimist or a pessimist? I don't really get it. Hey, hey! Is it all right if we go inside now? Ibuki was going to eat a good meal first. That's why I came early. <laughs> G'day, mate. Sure thing. Let's wait inside. Oh, I can't take my mind off for you, Hiko. Oh well, I've gone this far, I can't turn back now. Mm. Are you hinting at me game to... Bear in mind... What happened then with Fuya Hiko? Gotta... You gotta tune into all these little things, everybody. That happen in... <laughs> that happen in Danganronpa. Because <laughs> if my experience with Trigger Happy Habit is anything to go by, it's these kind of scenes... Where important things happen. You don't pick up on them at the time, but... Then during a sudden murder case, suddenly it proves important. You have to bring it up. Okay, so we've seen Fuyahiko outside the diner at about what? Is it like three between three and three three thirty PM? So that could prove important in some way, I'm guessing. That's the thing, right? We've had a load of free time events. At some point we're gonna get another murder case. It's gonna happen. And I have a feeling it could happen fairly soon. Because stuff's happening. Okay, well, let's go in the diner, then. Let's see what the deal is. Sip of tea whilst I'm at it. Ah. Ah, I returned to the diner and sat myself at the table near the window once again. Phew. You know, I think I couldn't help letting out a big sigh. <laughs> G'day, mate. So, what are you guys going to do about your swimsuits? You aren't allowed to change in that beach house, you know. Um... Oh, blimey, that's why we're already wearing them. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> thank you very much, Shibuki. <laughs> What's underneath this uniform isn't panties, it's a swimsuit. Of course. Can I make well, that's obvious, I also came wearing a swimsuit too. 
Huh? Really? Uh. Good night, mates, which reminds me, you're not wearing yours yet. You've got to go to the bathroom so you can change. <laughs> oh my god, what have you picked out for me? <laughs> Look at those fucking things. <laughs> Good night, mates, here you go, this is yours. Arr, what is, what is this thing? <laughs> oh, blimey, it may be rude of me to say this, but... Ah! Uh, looks a little too daring, blimey. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh, jeez. What if something falls out? If this is air in live, you, you're totally going to get censored by the network. Oh. Mm. <laughs> that... I'd say fourth wall breaking, but not necessarily. We remember how it went in Trigger Happy Havoc. Turned out that their, you know, killing game was being broadcast on around the whole world, wasn't it? I wonder if something similar is going on here. <laughs> that could well be the case. <laughs> Good eye mates, don't worry. Even if it's worse, it won't turn into a live action drama. Alright, that's not the problem. Hey! Good eye mates, what is it then? You tell me you don't want a wet match with me? Alright, it's matching? I definitely don't want to wear it. What, are you wearing something similar? Uh, I believe fine is bad, so, so let's stop. Peeking! Peeking! Things are eating up something fierce. When's everyone gonna come? I hope they come soon. Alright, and as she said that, Ibuki peeked out the window. Oh! Okay. Alright, what is it? Look outside, outside! Alright, what's outside? Oh, what? Isn't that Hyoko? Jeez, don't get my hopes up. I thought it was Miss Sonia. Doesn't she seem a little strange? Yeah, is that a tear coming out of one eye there? What the hell? If I had to describe it as a song title, it'd be Sprint of Tears. Okay, yeah, so she's crying. Huh? It looks like she's running from the beach. Did something happen? Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that. Uh, despite our questions, Hiyoko ran by the front of the diner at full speed. Huh? G'day, mate. She totally ran past us, but wasn't she part of the beach crew? Well... Oh, apparently she, she can't swim, so she turned us down. Hmm. Good night, but she... Didn't she just come running from the beach? I'm sorry. Oh, I don't really know all the details about that. <laughs> well, it just means women are full of surprises. That was not Scout's accent. <laughs> okay. Aww. Myru's the type to totally come, but she surprisingly turned us down too. Oh, Myru, she did. She turned it down. So unexpected of her not to join an event like this, if I actually totally planned this sort of thing. That's totally it! But it can't be helped. Apparently she wasn't really feeling well. Um... I'm oh, totally sorry to continue this topic, but why was Hiyoko crying? Ah, why are you asking us? She was sprinted away from the beach and crying. Something's definitely wrong. Hey! Whoa! G'day mates, when'd you get here so suddenly? Oh, is someone else here? Ah, Kazuichi suddenly shouted, and what he was looking at was near the diner's entrance. Ah, as I turned around. Ooh. Ooh, hello, gamer girl. Ooh. My, my, how disappointing. I thought if I came early, I'd be the first one to arrive. Oh, here comes the swimsuit fan service, everybody. Just today in Pork Burger. Ah, I can't keep myself from staring like an idiot. <laughs> Whoa, Chiaki! You came wearing only your swimsuit. I didn't want to carry it with me. If I did, it'd be a serious burden. I mean, that's one way of describing it. I mean, it's just a bit of fabric, isn't it? Ah, oh, a serious burden, that's a total exaggeration. But even though you didn't want to carry anything, it looks like you're carrying something. Yeah, you got your backpack on, I think you had something in your hand as well. Instead of bringing lunch for everyone, I brought ice cream. Um, it's not like I'm gonna turn it down, but... Ice cream is completely different from lunch. I don't think it can be used as a substitute. Nah, stop complaining. Oh god, my voice broke. Jeez. Also, I was thinking of stuff we could all do at the beach together. So I brought a board game too. The sight of this uh, rather ravishing um, scene before me <laughs> just made my voice break. <laughs> hmm. Should we play it even though we came all this way to go to the beach? Nah. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> I see. That's disappointing. Just shoot her down, why don't you? Lord, ah. Good eye, mates, but how should I say this? Is this what Gat Moe is supposed to be? For someone normally so quiet to wear such a daring swimsuit, it makes you a little excited, right, Ajime? 
Uh, well, uh, I don't know. Uh, that's what I said, but my heartbeat was actually getting faster and faster. <laughs> you know, mate, seriously, man, I never expected Chiaki to have such huge jugs. Dude, don't just say that in front of her face. What happened? <laughs> yeah, jugs. Hey, hey, hey! You know, mate, I, I didn't say that just now. It was Hajime. He's a pervert, you know. All right, what are you saying? Oh. Can I mean, I only have eyes for Miss Sonia. I've dreamed of going out with a blonde lady ever since I was a kid. <laughs> wow. Mm. Yeah, gotta get gas for my tea. Her size is a little small, but this was the only swimsuit that fit me. Of course, it's a bit small. <laughs> Good lord. You know what that just makes me think of? I don't read too much into this when I say this, everybody. But that's like every freaking story. You know, every story written by some inexperienced, young, horny, male, adolescent writer who's trying to write something vaguely sexy. And every girl in every one of those stories is always wearing either a bra or a bikini top that's too small, quote-unquote, which makes her breasts seem bigger than they actually are. All the time. Don't ask how I know that. I just do, okay? Don't question it too much. Hey, hey. I don't look good in it. Huh? Well, no, I guess you, do, you look good, you swab. Thanks. I'm glad, I guess. <laughs> wearing a bikini is sure a daring, and you get bonus points for wearing a white one. I mean, it's not really that... well, I suppose... Uh, actually, I suppose it is... I suppose for a girl that is kind of daring, maybe. I, mean, I remember... Mm, I remember reading once, you know, how back in the 50s, was it 50s when, you know, the the bikini first kind of really hit the, uh, kind, kind of came to fashion. Wasn't the, who, who was it who described it as something like revealing everything about a girl except her mother's maiden name, something like that? Was that how it was described when it came out in the 50s, the bikini? Something like that. Mm. <sighs> but you know, having said that, I don't know. I mean, I can think of more daring things to wear than a bikini. You know. Oh, it's probably a heart attack. Yo. Oh, is this a gymnast girl? Oh, hey, I kept you waiting. All right, we heard a voice as the diner door slowly opened, and the person who walked through it was... Ooh. Whoa, what the fuck? Why are you covered in blood? Uh, hey, sorry to keep you guys waiting. I have several questions. Ah! Akane! What happened to you? What? Is something wrong? I made sure to wear a swimsuit this time. <laughs> Implication being last time, you didn't. <laughs> Not that! Your wounds! It, it wouldn't be strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now! Stephen King reference, I like it. Except, um, I don't recall... I don't, I don't recall Carrie going on a rampage through the town of Chamberlain wearing just a swimsuit, but okay. Uh, oh, you're talking about these. <laughs> on my way over here, I happened to run into Coach Nekomaru. Oh, so you've been sparring, have you? I must say, it's pretty violent sparring by the looks of it. And when that happens, I gotta fight him, you know? Ah, uh, why does she have to do that? Uh, are you really alright? Your head, it looks like it's split in half. Well, it'll heal as long as I rub some spit in it, right? You're totally playing up the power of human spit! <laughs> I'm all fired up now. I never knew such a strong opponent even existed. Wow. Ah! Oh, blimey, anyway. You need to be treated. You also need your wounds sterilised. Akane, please, come with me. Oh, an unusually forceful demeanour. Mikan pulled Akane into the bathroom. <laughs> G'day, mates, that's why she's the ultimate nurse. Well, it's going to be okay if we leave it to her. Hey. Oh, is this, um, Peko, Russian, you know, what is all this ruckus? All right! G'day, mates, oh, who's it this time? Ooh. Let's see. I say, swordswoman girl. Have you already been swimming? Kind of covered in water. Hajiman, Kazuichi, why are you two here? Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? I just did a little swimming. Okay, yeah. A little swimming? I swam around the island for about three hours. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Why were you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? It wasn't for my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Oh, okay. Huh? 
but I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. Don't find them. You know, just follow the bridges. If you didn't see anything after you swam for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah, that may be true. Hmm. Hey. G'day, mate. Say, how'd you make? Hmm. What? Awesome. G'day, mate. A woman with wet, sleep by hair is pretty fine too, huh? <laughs> oh my my! And this body too, man. Hope we're getting another shot of it, apparently. I Young say. ladies are sure well endowed nowadays. <laughs> is that a challenge against all the women in the world? Well, certainly in anime, they are well endowed. Typically, a lot of the time. Fine. Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pump these puppies full of silicone. No, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't say such asinine things. Yes, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> <laughs> G'day, mates. Anyway, it looks like everyone is almost here and it's already past 4 p.m. If so, all that's left uh, is... I am terribly sorry for my delay. Hmm. <laughs> We can get some swimsuit fan service with Sonya now. I mean, this is the one I'm looking forward to. And you can shut the fuck up, boy. Ah! Can I make Miss Sonya's here? Oh, he's doubled down in excitement. Ah! Can I make alright? What kind of sexy swimsuit is Miss Sonya wearing? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's, um, not what I expected. It's a wetsuit! It is to prevent sunburn. I do not want my skin to be sun damaged. However, as I have never worn a wetsuit before, I had a hard time putting it on, which resulted in my delay. Really, it is my bad. Hmm. Oh my. Good night, mates. I say a wetsuit. Haha. -ha. Denied, brother. You wanted to go full bikini. I wanted her to go full bikini. No, denied. Denied, bitch. <laughs> Can I make well? Miss Sonia does have beautiful white skin. Miss Sonia! But that tight outfit, outfit, uh, yeah, outfit of hers is amazing. Just what I'd expect from a 100% purebred pure, pure, pure bread princess. It's a bit of a tongue twister, that. Alright, this guy is quick to recover. Um. Anyway, dear fellows, why are you two here? Ah. Uh. Can I make I'll answer that, Miss Sonia? I'll be honest, if you're going to go to the beach, please let us come with you. I am concerned. Well, old boy, this was originally supposed to be a female-only outing to strengthen our bonds of friendship with one another. <laughs> can I make you think you can make an exception pretty, please? Um... Well, it's okay. It's not like there'd be any problems even if there are some boys. Then... You're right. They came all the way here. It would be bad if we made them leave. <laughs> can I make Miss Sonny? It's just so kind. All right! Now that it's decided, let's get going. Alright, but Akane's wounds are still being treated. Shut up! Shut up! Can I make there's no way I can just stand around? I'll go on ahead and prepare. I'll set up the parasol and then prepare the drinks. Engines revving! I mean it, I promise I'll give it all my all to serve you so everyone has fun. Alright, with an, aban ab uh, an abnormal amount of gusto, he bolted out of the diner. Um. <laughs> Alright, I'm surrounded by girls in swimsuits. This is a little awkward. Come on, Hajime, just keep it cool, ma'am. Uh, I, I should go help Kazuichi too. As a moment of my excuse, I ran out of the diner, almost as if I were escaping. You friggin' lightweight, Hajime. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm still a bit concerned, though. Because we saw Hiyoko before, running away, and she was coming from the direction of the beach, wasn't she? I'm a bit scared of what... <laughs> I think Kazuichi's gonna find something. I don't know. Let's go through the ominous tunnel. Oh, I fucking knew it. Arrgh, huh? That that bell just now. Could it be? A body has been discovered! Yep. It's happened. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! I'm just permanently on edge now <laughs> in this game. Even when it's having the happy moments, I'm just on edge. Because it can come at any moment. Who is it? Who's dead? That's the question now. Our right, body? That's a lie. Impossible. Someone. Someone come here! Is in the is it in the beach house or? All right, that was definitely Kazuichi's voice just now. It sounds like he's nearby. 
he on the beach or is he actually... Oh, God. What the... On the path. Yeah, he's not on the beach, is he? He's in the beach house. Okay. Who is it? Who's dead? Ah, uh, Kazuichi scream. Did I really hear it coming from here? No, what am I being nervous about? There's no reason for me to be nervous. A body discovery announcement? I won't believe it. No, you better believe it, son. I'm not going to believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who will believe something like that? As I raised my voice, I swiftly stepped inside the beach house. Who is it? I won't believe it. Arr. No, when I stepped inside the beach house, those words mercilessly shattered into pieces. Of course they did. Hello? Saw a bat. Who is it? Is it? Oh. It's Mahiru. Ah, if this was all a dream. When did I? When did I begin dreaming? This is reality. Why is Mahiru on the floor covered in blood? Damn, how do you make you having a hard time accepting it, aren't you? Ah. <sighs> See? <laughs> I don't even really react with shock anymore. Because <laughs> I know it's going to happen. I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me. I couldn't believe in anything. Oh boy. Another one's down. Coming up to investigation time. Seeing punishment, sin and coconuts. Chapter 2. Ah, Mahiru Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. Yeah, she was more, one of the more sensible members of the group. And she was always straightforward at her. Toward us and toward herself, she was always facing forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why Mahiru? Why? Well, you know how it goes. It's always the characters you don't want to die. They're usually the ones who die. And you just end up with the assholes. <laughs> oh, why did this happen to her? The muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble. And I instinctively placed my hand against the wall. Damn it! Hey, how'd you make? For this, we were having a great time, right? We were excited about going to the beach. We were having a lot of fun. But why? Are you kidding me? Why does something like this happen? Someone tell me. I obviously don't know what's going on either. Oh! Um... <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's all she does. <laughs> G'day, mates. Now's not the time to make bubbles. Hurry and get the others. Okay, right. One thing I want to say very quickly. Body discovery announcement. If I rem Am I remembering this correctly from Trigger Happy Havoc? It plays when three people discover a body for the first time, right? Or after three people have discovered the body. So... Hmm. And I'm, as far as I'm aware, the murderer definitely isn't counted as one of those three, is it? So, one of those people who found it has got to be Kazuichi. I have a feeling that Hiyoko could be the other one, number two. But then in that case, who's number three? Who's the third person who discovered it? Well, actually, no, I've got the order wrong there, haven't I? I think, judging by the fact, Kazuichi went to the beach house to prepare, and then the body discovery announcement played. So Kazuichi is the third person who discovered it. Now, does that mean Hiyoko is the second person to have found it? Which is why maybe she was running away with tears in her eyes. Because that's the thing. Didn't she? Yeah, she and Mahiru had a bit of a friendship going on. Hmm. So, of course, I take... What I always take it to mean is that because the murderer isn't counted as one of those three people, then that means that the three people who discover the body you can kind of exonerate straight away so that they're not suspect. So, Kazuichi, you're not suspect. Hiyoko, I'm tentatively saying... Probably not a suspect either. But that still raises the question, who's the first person then to have seen the body? Because we've seen quite a few people. We've seen Peko, we've seen Chiaki, we've seen Akane, Mikan, Ibuki, Fuyuhiko. Hmm. What about Nekamaru, Gundam, and them as well? Okay, and Nagito, is he still tied up in the um, dilapidated building? Ah, Ibuki, Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. 
they had to change and whatnot. It must have taken some time. But I didn't really know how much time had passed. Our, my senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various layers were peeling off. My senses started to return around the time I realised that the others were already here. Oh boy. Huh? Oh, what the hell is this? <coughs> oh, why, Myru? Alright, the girls were standing outside the door leading to the beach, their faces pale with terror. Something like this? For heaven's sake, what in the world is going on? Alright, with their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling toward the beach house. Until a voice stopped them. Hold it. Hmm. Hold on a sec. Hmm. Those things be care uh, beneath you. Be careful not to step on them. What? Beneath. See? You know, the footprints in front of that door. Ah. Hello. There are footprints leading out to the beach house, right? That's probably an important clue. Hmm. So don't step on them. Is this going to be like a, um, repeat of the... Which one was it in um, Trigger Happy Havoc, was it? It was Trial 4, wasn't it? The one where Sakura died. Or Sakura committed suicide, rather. Because um, footprints came into that one. Measuring people's kind of foot size. Or shoe size. And shoe type. So that we could try and determine whose footprints they were. Okay, right. That'll probably, you know, be covered in the investigation then. Huh? If you mean evidence, dear fellow! Monokuma mentioned it in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we'll hold a class trial. What the?! Another class trial? You serious?! And then are you saying this is? That's right! One of you guys killed her! Lies! Her killed? That's impossible! Hey, hey! Can I make it's not like an accident or something? Like... If you guys think that's an accident, that still means this death was caused by someone else's actions, right? In other words... That also counts as illegitimate murder! Though such deaths fall into a grey area on this island, I'll make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. <laughs> well, it's impossible to get sick and die on this island. Not when one of me takes such good care of people. Here <laughs> she is. <laughs> What's this? Oh, speaking of which... Dot dot dot. I don't like this. There it is, the silent treatment attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me. Well, fine, I'm not going to lose to your bashing. I've decided to become a tough kid. <laughs> this is the worst. Once again, this horrible nightmare. Another victim, and it's all because of Monokuma. No way! Jeez, it's not my fault. Huh? Then whose fault is it, you ask? Yahoo! To find out, we hold a class trial. So? Let's begin already. No whining, just begin already. It's the Monokuma fight! This should start to feel familiar. Do your best. I'll see you later at the class trial. <laughs> uh, class trial investigation. This is horrible. It's just too horrible. Hey! Can I make sure you should have stopped the murder before it occurred? Don't you have that kind of power? <laughs> uh, I did have the power before he appeared. Perhaps. Even if she tried to stop it. Judging from Monokuma and Monomi's relationship, there's no doubt she'd get stopped herself. <laughs> yes, Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and my Brucey bonuses, and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are these ears, but they can only hear about three times out of a normal person. So basically... You have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. <laughs> I'm just the worst. A powerless rabbit like me is the worst. <laughs> hey, now's not time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? Oh, blimey, do, do we have to do it again? Ah, cruel thing, we have to do it again? Why? I cannot believe it, Myru was killed by one of us. Damn it! Can I make Yeah, I can't do this anymore. Investigating the class trial, seriously, I'm done. Ah, everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except do it. And there's no way we can just ignore the reason Myru was killed. Hey. Yeah, the only thing we can do now is investigate. Because it's bad. We should never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Arachiaki! Well? Kill has the reasons, I understand that. It was the same for Teru Teru too. It's really all Monokuma's fault, I understand that too. But even so... Um, we should never forgive I'll killing. I'll never allow it. Okay. <laughs> Arachi right, usually has a head in the clouds, so for her to say something like that... Arachi right, probably can't forgive this at all. That's true of me too. Understood. Regardless, everyone is going to die if we don't do it. In order for us all to survive, we must do it. I'm gonna do it! Let's do this! Perhaps... 
Mahiru probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death from beyond the grave. <laughs> oh, blimey, I understand. If everyone's doing it, I'll do it too, but please give me a little time. Please give me time to calm myself down a little. Also, I'll go and tell the others who aren't here about this. Ari, you're right. If all you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place, Ari. <laughs> I should excuse myself for now. Hey. Let's begin. Who killed Mahiru Kazumi? Why was she killed? <laughs> We've got to find out and solve this already. Ah, oh, that's right. We have to do it. It's the only way. I don't want to do this, but that's... that's bleh. But that's more the reason for us to finish this. I'm the only one who can do this. Okay. Right then, everybody. Oh, man. My throat is already being knackered after one episode of doing Hajime's voice. I think it's time to uh, wrap up here, then. So, that was episode 16 of Duncan Robert Trigger Happy... No, no, Jesus. That's the wrong title of the game. Duncan Robber 2, I should say. Goodbye Despair, not Trigger Happy Havoc. That's the, uh, that's the predecessor to this game. So, Mahiru has been killed. We was all going so fine with our swimsuit fan service. And now Photographer Girl has been murdered. Well, next episode we'll get into the investigation. We'll find out what the deal is. Already I can see some interesting things going on in this room. So yeah. Hope you'll join me then for that episode, everybody. Promises to be a good one. If you're not doing so already, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the video description as always. If you're also interested in seeing me react to, slash watch, slash review anime kind of content, that sort of thing, go check out my channel, Red Propagandist channel. Link also in the video description. But other than that, thank you everybody. And in the meantime, this is General Red signing off. Goodbye all. Oh shit! Okay, that's an interesting flag. That's um, the rising sun combined with the stars and stripes. Hang on, so is this country like a fusion of America and Japan? How interesting. Yes, well, yeah, that is interesting. What? Yeah. That's enough of that. <laughs> God. In-game S&M. Why do I still have the fly swatter?